From the Lloyd Noble Center here in Norman, Oklahoma, the site of the 2015 NCAA Men's Gymnastics Championships, I'm Mike Waddell, joined now by 10-time All-American and two-time NCAA champion C.J. Maestas, the senior out of Albuquerque, and tonight you become the fourth NCAA champion at high bar with a great performance. Take us through that routine. You know, it was uh, undescribable. You know, Yvonne gave me a hug and said, just leave it all on the table. You got nothing to lose. So I've been doing that routine for so long, you know, battling a little bit of shoulder injuries throughout the season. But at that point, it didn't matter. It's just me and the high bar. So it was amazing once I stuck that dismount. That's an understatement of epic proportions because you've really been battling a lot of pain, a lot of discomfort in that shoulder for the last two months. And to do this routine in the third day of a grueling competition, what did you do mentally to put that pain out of your mind? I, uh, I cut the cage on, uh, on the lion cage, man. You know, basically I just went out there and just didn't think and just did. You know, it's autopilot at that point. I have been battling that shoulder issue for a while, man, and it's just, it's been kind of my kryptonite, you know, a little bit. So I just went out there, literally blacked out and just did my job the way I know I know how to do it, man. And just going out like that is just so amazing. You know, I've done so much for this university. I'm so proud to call myself an Illini to be with you guys, my coaches, my coaching staff, my teammates. It's just an honor. It's an honor to represent the orange and blue. So proud. And it's a way to leave that legacy burning in the minds because I know as the senior leader of this team, this was not the type of team result that you wanted to close out with here in 2015, but what do you hope that your performance will resonate with the rest of these guys as they come back for 2016 and the championships in Columbus? Um, you know, that was, it was hard. It was a hard pill to swallow, you know, and uh, shout out to Jordan Valdez. He was the, uh, the reigning national champion, you know, unfortunately dislocated his shoulder and it was me and him out there today too. But, you know, with the team, it just, um, honestly, it, I, it lit a fire underneath them. You know, I've done so much in my power. You know, I'd like to say I've broken my back as you know, doing one on six is constantly with Bobby Baker and just, you know, I'm not getting any younger. I'm going to be 23 now in May. So I just hope that the team took from that is that I'm willing to sacrifice everything to literally succeed with for this program. It's not about myself. We always stress to our, uh, to our guys, you know, our coaching staff says it's about the, the name on the front of the chest, not the name on the back. So I really do uh, bring that to every performance that I do in gymnastics and life with my family, with my friends, girlfriends. It doesn't matter who it is. I just like to be the best in everything that I do. So. It's an honor. It's an honor to go out like that. So, so you go out an NCAA champion for a second time, a 10-time All-American. What's next for you? I know you'll be uh, heading out west to join some of these guys wearing the red, red white, and blue, hopefully uh, make it to Rio and international competitions to the United States. Yeah, um, heading out to Colorado, going back to OTC, you know, graduating in May. You know, it's graduating. Did it, Mom. But uh, <laughs> shout out to Debbie, too. She helped me. Without her, I wouldn't have been there. But, yeah, I'm going back to Colorado. You know, um, it's time to focus on serious, serious training. You know, um, having school and balancing team and stuff like that is very, it's very strenuous, you know, so it's time to do two days and really devote my whole time. I'm a professional now, so proud to call myself an alum, proud to wear the shoes of past Olympians, great coaches, great teammates, great support staff, Mike Thomas, Mike Waddell, all you guys, it's just, <laughs> It's a blessing, so I'm ready to uh, represent hopefully in 2016 at the Olympics. So We just got to bring back the bow tie routine for the uh, exhibition yeah. next year. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No one's going to, no one can rock a bow tie like I can, but hey, someone can try. <laughs> Thank you very much for all you've done for the eye, and uh, congratulations on just a, an outstanding weekend. Thank you. Thank you so much. I love everyone. Line Eye Nation, I love you guys. Brought it home, baby. CJ Maestas with me, Mike Waddell, and you heard it all right here live from Oklahoma on FightingIllini.com.